All right, so now we're going to have a look at some of the menus, some of the functions, some of the features of Pro Tools uh, that we haven't got into yet, and uh, hopefully it'll uh, allow you to be uh, even more in control of your, of your session and of your music. Um, let's get right into it. We're going to go up here to the upper left-hand corner of our screen, and you'll see four little buttons up here. Shuffle, Slip, Spot, and Grid. Now, these are the modes uh, for your edit window. Now, uh, these just allow you to basically manipulate your audio in different ways depending on uh, what you want to do. Now, shuffle mode, first of all, which the hotkey for shuffle mode is F1. Actually, these are the hotkeys for these are F1, F2, F3, and F4 for shuffle, slip, spot, and grid. But Shuffle mode basically uh, means if you're, if you're going to grab a region out of your regions bin and bring it into your, uh, into your session, it is gonna, um, it's going to go right up next to the last region, but you're not going to be able to drag anything uh, on top of another region. Uh, if that sounds a little bit confusing, let me demonstrate it. I'm going to go over to my regions list over here. I am in shuffle mode, and I'm going to grab, I'm going to grab uh, my my drum loop that I just brought in, which is this 120 live thing. I'm going to grab it and I'm going to bring it down here to the drum track, and as you can see, it it just it it goes right up next to it. But I cannot uh, I I cannot put it if even if I wanted to, I'll grab another one. If I tried to put it on top or or anything like that, I can't. I, I can't do that. It's only going to go right up next to uh, the, 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 the previous region. So this is useful if, uh, if you want to, like I have just done effectively, um, uh, drag you know, several bars of the same drum loop if you want to repeat it or, uh, or whatever. But I'm just going to undo that for now. Um, so, that's, so that's shuffle mode. In addition, shuffle mode also, if I grab that same drum loop and I put it in front, at the very beginning of the session, I'm not sure if you can see, but it's a it's a very uh, thin sort of um, uh, dotted line that that it creates there. Um, but you put it at the beginning of the session, and it actually pushed the the first one back. So basically, it's it's a, that's a good name for it, shuffle, because it's shuffling things around. Um, but to be quite honest, I don't use shuffle mode all that often. It's not. Um, uh, what it is useful for, let's say if I, um, let's say, let's select this and delete it. If I, uh, if I want to bring this into the session and I want it right at the beginning, all I have to do is bring it to this track and it's going to put it right at the beginning of the, uh, of the session. So it's useful for that and it's useful for other things, but that's shuffle mode. Uh, let's go to the next one, which is F2, which is slip mode. This is probably, uh, next to grid mode, this is probably the most commonly used mode. Slip mode just means that everything is free flowing. You can put anything anywhere you want. Um, so I'm gonna if if I go over to my regions list again and I grab that same drum loop, you'll see now you'll see a little outline of where where I'm about to put it, and I can put it you know anywhere I want. I can put it on I can put it on top of this in a strange spot. I can put it wherever, and uh, so that's slip mode. And obviously that's very useful for if you're just moving stuff around and you don't want to, you don't want to, uh, you know, you don't, you, you, you want to be able to put it uh, wherever, wherever you want. That's slip mode. Uh, uh, continuing on, F3, that's spot mode. Now, spot mode is pretty cool and useful. Um, spot mode basically takes, uh, when, you, when you write a WAV file, when you, when you record a file, uh, let's say this, uh, this acoustic track that I've recorded, it, it time stamps it with, a, it, with, um, with some time code and says this is where this track originally started and this is where it ended. So let's say if I grab, uh, if I, if I grab my, my acoustic track in slip mode and I accidentally moved it out of time and I don't remember where it started, now I can go up to spot mode, which is F3, and if I 
if I try to drag this, uh, well, let's just delete it, and I try to grab this, uh, this acoustic region from the regions bin and bring it in, in spot mode, it's going to bring up this dialog box. And, and down here, uh, it says original timestamp. Now, if I click the little arrow next to original timestamp, it's going to put it where it originally was recorded. So if you accidentally are messing around in Pro Tools and you delete something or whatever, uh, you can use spot, uh, spot mode to get your file back where it originally was, and it saves a lot of headaches, and it's definitely uh, saved me on occasion. Um, so that's spot mode. Moving on from there, we got grid mode. Glorious grid mode. Grid, uh, <laughs> grid uh, is basically, you, you can only move your files according to the grid of your session. Now, my grid right now is at 120 beats per minute. We can, we're we're going to go into how to, how to change tempos a little bit later, but we, the, the default tempo for a session is 120 beats per minute. And, uh, and so right now, if I, if I drag these, these files around, you'll see they kind of they jump. They don't move smoothly like they did on, uh, on slip mode. That's because they're moving only on the grid. And right now, I think I have the grid set to quarter notes. So that's really useful if you're doing, um, if you have any session that's on a grid and you're moving around drum loops or you're moving around uh, whatever, you know, any, any type of file uh, and you want to keep it on the grid, that's definitely very useful and I, I often have my session uh, on grid mode. It's probably 50-50 between grid and, uh, and slip mode. So that's a uh, real brief overview of the, of the different modes. Um, in Pro Tools, and as you can see, there's a lot of options and a lot of cool, uh, a lot of cool things that you can do with those.